Hello, hello, and welcome to our first week of talking about hybrid meetings. It's something that is becoming super important as many places are starting to get back to normal. At least some people are gathering again in person. In some places, others, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. I actually just booked my vaccine appointments for uh, end of this month and then the second one in end of September. So it will be quite some time in Canada and not even looking at some of the other places in around the world where they're not even close to getting people's uh, vaccines yet. So I want to chat about hybrid meetings. And first of all, what is a hybrid meeting? Well, compared to the things that you've probably been doing for the last year, where 100% of participants are virtual, they meet on Zoom, Hybrid meeting just means that some of those people are meeting in person. And maybe you've already done a hybrid meeting and you didn't even know this. I actually did a hybrid uh, holiday party because when I was facilitating this holiday party, certain teams were sitting in front of one computer. So as soon as you get more than one person looking at the same screen, you're already having a hybrid meeting. So I've actually done some and learned some lessons of what to do and what not to do. And some of the biggest, biggest challenges is around the technical setup. And especially when it comes to audio to make sure that we all participate equally because in the end you have your online participants and you have your in the room participants and you wanna make sure that they all can participate equally. So let me share with you this little overview of what we're going to talk about today. So on the left side, we have all of the um, online participants. And on the right side, we have the in-room participants. And then we need to make sure that the online participants can see the in-room participants and also that the in-room participants can see the online participants. And in addition to that, we also need to make sure that the online participants can hear what's happening in the room. And at the same time, we need to make sure that the people in the room can hear what is being said and shared online. And just this kind of maybe simple looking diagram is turning out to be a really complicated issue. Because if people who are online can't hear what's being said in person, they're going to feel left out. If uh, suddenly people online start chatting with each other and anybody who is there in person because they're not sitting in front of a computer can't see the chat messages, they feel left out. So how can we make sure that the technical setup allows for everyone to feel involved, included and engaged? Well, let's talk about them one at a time. Um, if we're talking about the online participants being able to see the in-room participants, this basically means that the, uh, the people who meet in the room need to have a camera and ideally a camera that shows the room where they can see the participants, similar if they were to look at gallery view, but also if there is one speaker maybe there needs to be a second camera showing that speaker. Again, think about it, what you see when you are in a virtual meeting. You see the speaker sharing their slides and then you see gallery view of people listening. So if you are, for example, uh, the remote person and you want to share a presentation, you wanna see how that presentation is landing for your participants. So you wanna see your gallery view, including the people who are in person. So again, we probably need two cameras in the room, one showing the speaker, the presenter, going, going one direction, and then the other camera going the uh, other direction, showing the participants. The next thing we need to think of is, um, let's stay in the room. Uh, uh, hang on, we, we, we just ticked off. Let me uh, actually mark this with, with a little check mark, hold on, um, to make sure that I'm keeping myself uh, accountable. So right now with the two cameras, the online participants can see the in-person participants. Um, well, that yellow doesn't show up that well. 
hold on we're going to do that in this color much better to better to see okay now for the online participants let's move to the bottom left for the online participants to hear what happens in person that means we need to make sure that at the in-person event there is one of these a microphone so people can hear and again if you're having a speaker or a presenter the easiest way is to make sure you have one microphone that maybe is on a stand or on a podium or on a table and this is where participants in person will have to go before they're allowed to speak or maybe there's a roaming microphone that gets passed around but you need to make sure kind of thinking of the same way if you think of a live event where you have thousands of people at a conference whoever is speaking needs to be speaking in the microphone so if there's a question from the audience they have to run with the microphone in the audience and pass it to the person before they're allowed to speak they can't just stand up and yell because nobody will be able to hear them it's the same thing in a virtual space so think about one microphone that gets passed around or one microphone on a stand in one place and ideally that's also where the one of the cameras go uh, looks at so having kind of a speaker area almost like a stage is something to kind of visualize and make that a little bit easier all right so we have now completed the second part now let's talk about the in-room participants if they want to be able to see the participants that are virtual we ideally want to just get them a big screen maybe it's a television that is in the meeting room maybe it's a projector where you can project gallery view of your zoom meeting and that way again people can see everyone else that's a pretty simple solution right uh, also if there's more than one um, laptop maybe people have their own devices where they can again look at gallery view in the meeting so that is easy now how do we make sure that the people in person can hear the people from online well we also need to make sure that there are speakers at the in-person location and speakers that are loud enough so everyone can hear it and usually just the speaker from a phone or laptop is not loud enough so having things like a Bluetooth speaker, which I have, hold on. Right here. So if you have something like a Bluetooth speaker that uh, is really loud for your room, so when um, participants share something online, everyone can hear it. And by default, it's probably good if everyone is on mute unless they're sharing something. So. Uh, that is one way or if maybe the venue already has a speaker system built in that's also really good so now that we've talked about all those four things to keep in mind I think there's two more things we want to tackle in this video number one the big big issue with audio feedback and it's not a fun thing and maybe one of the biggest challenges when it comes to hybrid meetings number two talk about an example setup of how that actually looks like so let's start with the um, the biggest issue the echo the echo or feedback usually happens when your voice or some sound goes into a microphone comes out of the speakers and goes back in the microphone and very very fortunately zoom has amazing uh, an amazing thing called echo cancellation which means if you're sitting in front of your laptop by yourself and somebody else's sound voice comes through your speakers and goes back in your microphone it gets cancelled out and it's no issue if we didn't have that feature and some video conferences don't we would all have to wear um, our earbuds or headphones that way when the sound comes out of your computer it just goes straight in your ear and it doesn't come back out back in the microphone so headphones earbuds is a really good solution but it gets challenging when there's two people with two laptops next to each other because now the sound from one laptop enters the microphone from the other laptop and even if we have echo cancellation it will not do a good thing the same thing if i start speaking 
my voice goes into my mic and the mic from the person sitting next to me. And again, we're going to have some feedback. So the best thing is, like I shared earlier, if people are meeting in person only have one microphone and one speaker. And again, that is easiest by having kind of a stage area where the microphone will be the one that everybody will have to use and like walk up to. Great reason to get some exercise and add some movement uh, to your events. And then a speaker that everyone can hear. That is the best way. Anything else is uh, you running the risk that there will be some feedback. Um, what I have done before is making sure that everyone who's sitting in front of their own screen has headphones and like earbuds and then sits as far away as possible from the other person and you have to be on mute unless you're talking because whenever there's two people who are unmuted in the same room you're going to start running into that feedback issue so that's basically how you solve it is one microphone one speaker now let's talk about a specific example and i'll go back to my drawing board for this so for an online meeting, for the online part of the hybrid meeting, it's going to look like the same way it looked like before we went to a hybrid model. So everyone is going to be sitting in front of their computer in their own location and they have their own audio setup, whatever they need. They will have a microphone, they will have speakers or they have headphones. It doesn't really matter. Uh, one big thing is if uh, to make sure the experience is going smoothly, if you're not speaking, you should be on mute. That's just one of the extra rules. And then in the room, let's figure out how that would look like. Like I said, uh, we would have a kind of, hold on, uh, let me draw this. We have kind of our stage. This is the stage and this should have our one Kind of microphone here on the stand and this should also have one camera that films the stage so that way anybody who goes to the stage to say something will be visible and audible for everybody online so that's the one thing and then the other thing we want is a second camera that shows our, let's just say they're sitting at a table. That shows our audience. And then we also want some kind of speaker. How do you, how do you draw a speaker again? Um, well, it kind of looks the same, right? Like this. And you want to have one speaker that everybody can hear. So that is kind of the setup that you're looking at. Um, let me remove my video so you can see that a little bit better. So this is kind of the setup that you want to think of when you are creating a hybrid meeting. I know it's a lot of things to keep in mind, but it will help you get rid of so many technical issues in the future. So keep that in mind and let me know what you think. It's something that I have not thought about in all the details. So I'll actually share some more resources, some more videos below this video for you to check that out. But uh, that's going to be a really great start to start thinking of uh, how that is going to look like for you, especially the location that is happening in person. You have a lot more requirements than a regular meeting uh, or a virtual meeting. The other thing I will say too is, and I'll probably have another video talking about this, um, the person who leads the meeting, should they be in person? Should they be virtual? I actually would think, would say that having a co-host that is, if you're in person, they're virtual. If you're virtual, they're in person. So you have somebody leading from either side would be the best way to do it. So that way everyone feels more included. All right, that's it from me today. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.